of Britain's most beautiful counties. Rich in natural beauty, rich in heritage. And within Shropshire is a very special place, which stands proud and tall in the sporting world. The town of Much Wenlock has a unique claim to fame. It is here that an old country doctor and his Olympian Games inspired the creation of the modern international Olympic movement. Back in 1850, local athletes competed in an impressive range of track and field events. This was the first modern Olympian Games. The event was the brainchild of a local man who aspired to revive and emulate the principles of the ancient Greek Olympics. William Penny Brooks was born in the town in 1809. He studied to be a doctor and took over his father's practice in 1831. As well as his medical responsibilities, William had an appetite for civic interests. He became a justice of the peace and a commissioner for roads and taxes. He initiated the construction of this fine corn exchange. It would have a commercial role in the town, but would also house a library and meeting rooms for citizens to learn about the arts, music and botany. William aspired to improve the body as well as the mind. In 1850, he established the Wenlock Olympian class. To promote the moral, physical and intellectual improvement of the inhabitants of the town by the encouragement of outdoor recreation and by the award of prizes annually at public meetings for skill in athletic exercises. The first games were mounted in October of that year. The programme was a mixture of classic athletic events and popular sports such as football, cricket and coits. Pageantry played a role right from the start. A band led a procession of flag bearers, competitors and officials from the centre of town to the venue. Events were open to all comers. By year two, competitors were arriving from Wolverhampton and Birmingham, but there was always at least one event reserved for residents of Wenlock Borough only. On the other side of Europe, less than a decade later, Athens mounted its first contemporary Olympian Games. The Athens events included a sevenfold foot race, the winner of which was awarded the Wenlock Prize, a fine tribute for the Wenlock Olympian class that had initiated the modern games. In 1865, William Penny Brooks became one of the founders of Britain's National Olympian Association. Their first festival was held at London's Crystal Palace. The 440-yard hurdle race was won by 18-year-old W.G. Grace, who went on to become the celebrated Victorian cricketer. Meanwhile, the Wenlock Games went from strength to strength. In 1868, the pentathlon was introduced. Five disciplines, a foot hurdle race, the running long leap, the running high leap, putting a 35-pound stone and climbing a 55-foot-long rope. Now, here we are in the magnificent Guildhall, and I have Helen Clare Cromarty with me from the Wenlock Olympian Society. Now, Helen, tell me exactly what have we got here that you've brought with you today? Well, for the Wenlock Olympian Society, we, this is considered to be something really, really special. This is the die made by Storr. Now, this is Storr, as in Paul Storr, the top 19th century silversmith, who, of course, made silver for the Queen, didn't he? It is indeed. Brooks always had to have the very top. He always had to have the best to show that the Wenlock Olympian Society and their games was really special. And this is the medal, uh, a pentathlon medal made of solid silver, and each part of the medal is symbolic. Now Storr's pieces were top quality and you can see that here in this really intricate design. Tell me about some of the symbols we've got across the top here. Well this one is for poetry, prose, the muse. This one is for art. This one is for sport. It has a little cricket bat and balls. And the end one is the military because the military always took part in the games. And in the middle is goddess Nike. The Greek connection, very very important. William Penny Brooks was keen to prove the value of sporting activity for young people. He arranged comparative studies of exercise regimes with local children, which demonstrated the advantages of regular physical education in schools. With this and other evidence, Brooks petitioned Parliament to try to establish physical education as part of the curriculum for all national schools. 
In 1890, a French nobleman, Baron Pierre de Corbetin, preparing a report for an international conference, crossed the channel to look at English school sports practice. Brooks invited him to the Wenlock Games and the Baron was extremely impressed. Inspired by his visit to Shropshire, the influential Frenchman soon began to lobby the Greek authorities to consider staging an international Olympic Games. William Penny Brooks enthusiastically supported these endeavours, but he was by now an old man and in poor health. Towards the end of the 19th century, the appetite for an international Olympic Games grew. Alas, William Penny Brooks did not live to see the fruition of that ultimate ambition. He died in 1895, aged 86. The very next year, the first international modern Olympic Games were mounted in Athens. Meanwhile, enthusiasm for Olympian sporting and arts endeavours carried on determinedly within this delightful corner of Shropshire. The Wenlock Society have continued to stage annual Olympian Games, popular and iconic events celebrating sports, the arts, Shropshire and, not least, the extraordinary legacy of William Penny Brooks. In the year 1981, Alison Williamson, aged 10, won silver in the archery competition. Nineteen years later, in 2004, that same Alison Williamson won a bronze medal in archery for Britain at the Athens Olympics. Brooks would have been delighted. Of course, the significance of much when Lock and Shropshire has grown, with the anticipation of the Olympics coming to London in 2012. The town has welcomed many high-profile visitors, keen to understand and appreciate more of the noble and inspiring endeavours of William Penny Brooks and his fellow sports enthusiasts. The Wenlock Olympian Society strides forward year on year with the award of prizes annually at public meetings for skill in athletic exercises. Much Wenlock, a small Shropshire town with a very big role in international Olympic history. Music